What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 96 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys the final game and the conclusion I guess of the Champions League group stage where they're going to be taking on Benfica last time out we did an epic double header definitely go check that out it'll give you a good idea of where we are at right now going into this final game it's a winner takes all match really if we take a look here at the Europa League or rather the Champions League and at Group G you can see ourselves and Benfica sit even on six points each. Now, the thing that makes this game kind of interesting is that if we look at the rules here and the sorting rules, which I'm hoping are going to be somewhere here. Wait, we need to go to the group stage. Um, but if we do go to the group stage, you can see the sorting rule. First thing is results between the teams. Now, if we look at the last time we played Benfica, we drew 2-2. Two -two. So... What does this come down to, you might be wondering. It comes down to who wins this game. The winner takes all. If we lose, or rather if we draw, it would actually mean that Benfica go through due to goal difference, which would be absolutely heartbreaking. But this game is essentially a cup final for us right now. Whoever wins will finish second in the group. It's worth noting that for finishing third, we will go into the Europa League, which actually I outlined in an earlier episode would actually be a fairly good thing this year. In a lot of ways, getting to the Champions League kind of... Uh, knockout stage it's been a bit of a I don't want to say a bad thing but it's certainly held us back because we've not been able to really compete against the fellow knockout sides they've kind of demolished us the previous two years so in some ways a Europa League knockout stage kind of run is probably a lot more doable than a Champions League run but regardless you know we'll take whichever one comes our way I didn't mention this but at the end of the inter episode I was looking through and as you can see here we actually sold out the space park 13,224 fans turned up for that game and we also broke the record gate receipts total for that match we raised half a million pounds in gate receipts for one match now to put that into perspective that was 500,000 pounds in kind of ticket receipts a few years ago, obviously, when we were, had our smaller stadium before we built our own stadium, I think our record was around £75,000. So the expansion to the stadium, the new stadium, it is helping now and it is going to pay for itself in the long run, which is absolutely fantastic. And the fact that we can sell it out like that is really good stuff. It's a shame that we're not doing it quite so much in the league, but still getting 5,000 fans turn up is a decent turn up. Anyway, as you can see, two games since that last game against Inter. 13-0, we beat College Europa. And then 3-0, we beat Manchester 62. Nothing too surprising there, really. If we look at the league, you can see we're actually ahead of Gibraltar Lions by six points right now. They slipped up fairly recently. In fact, was it recently? It wasn't recently, I'm lying. They lost on the opening day of the season to uh, Glasses United, and so they are a little bit off the pace of us, and well, as you can see, despite conceding that one goal to Hound Dogs, we have a plus 60 goal difference, which, I don't know, it's, it's not too shabby, I guess you could say. Anyway, let's just get straight into today's game against Benfica. It's the game that you guys care about, it's the game that I care about. In terms of the team, we need to sort out the team right now, but we don't have too many players missing, which is fairly nice. I actually think for today's game, we're not going to play Mendes there, although my assistant does want to play Mendes out on the right. I mean, it's tempting. How does Mendes compare to Dupont? Like, what is the, the difference? Because I know it is fairly significant. You can see there it's significant. We're not going to play Mendes, despite the fact he is playing in the league for us. Our back four is also going to stay the same. Um, I think part of me almost wants to play Jason Hall at left back, but I think I'm going to resist the urge. Uh, to do that just in case in terms of what we have on the bench we've got a few options in various positions so that's fairly nice but no we'll go into this game we know there's a lot on the line we are going to be away from home we are going to play the 4-4-2 counter as a result of that you can see we go with Jung in goal Marriott, Frigere, Helmers and Tanzi as our back five midfield Smith, JJ, Bouchard and Dupont up front we go Alex and Oakley so pretty much the usual suspects nothing too out of the ordinary there I don't actually believe we have any injuries or suspensions for this game which is pretty much unheard of for us of course last time we played Benfica it was a draw we are away from home here we know that we need a win and we're just going to give it our all here of course if you missed last episode you should go check it out we did and finally get that first win of the group stage it took us to the second to last game but due to the just the sheer quantity of games we've drawn we actually still have a fighting chance to go through to the this competition although we do need to defend set pieces it's something that has been somewhat of an achilles heel i guess you could say in the champions league and carney with an effort here young tries to smother the ball spills it but it is cleared away he will collect it as well at the second time of asking some good goalkeeping there. First clear-cut chance, though, coming to Benfica in the first 10 minutes. Perhaps a sign of things to come. We are really going to be looking to hit them on the break today and uh, see what we can do. It was a tough Champions League group this year. 
against the likes of Benfica, Inter and of course Bayern. Perhaps a little bit easier than last year's group, but we did put in some outstanding performances last year. We got rode our luck as well. Let's see if we can ride it here tonight. Alex on the breakaway. Options in the middle. Oakley's there. Oakley scores. Take a bow, my son. His 29th goal of the season. And we're not even in January yet. We move up to second in the division, of course. A win here would be the difference maker. A win here sees us going through anything other than that. And we kiss goodbye to the Champions League group stage, which we would be reaching. Or sorry, the Champions League knockout stage, which if we do reach... We'd be reaching for a third year in a row, and to be honest, that's a nice finish by Oakley. Slotted home, just passed it in. Perhaps the keeper should have done a little bit better, but he didn't. And we take an early lead, getting the first blood in this game. But we do need to defend here. And actually, we do defend, and we win the ball. Alex spreads it to Oakley, the goal scorer. Dupont on the overlap, overlap looking to run ahead, but it is collected by Benfica, of course. We identified last time we played them the fact they have an absolutely outstanding defence, Benfica. The fact we've breached it once is an achievement, and well... You'd have a feeling we might have to breach it again. And now we do have to breach it again. Carnu with the goal. As you can see, we do drop down to third with that. And Benfica fight their way back into this game. It was a well-worked goal by them. Marriott at left back just, you know, he fell asleep there. Didn't track his man back. Didn't get goal side. Uh, an awful mistake, really. And Carnu with a relatively simple finish. Not much the keeper can do there with a shot from that angle that close up. And unfortunately... That does give Benfica the upper hand in this game. But, I mean, looking at the stats, neither team particularly pulling away with it. And as long as we're still in it, and as long as it's still a draw like this, we have a chance. I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy. I want to get them fired up. That is the exact response we've got. We have got some options on the bench that we could bring on the likes of Tuzon. You know, they're available if we need them to come on. Although, I think for now, at least, we're going to focus and kind of stick with uh, our pacey strikers in Alex and Oakley up top. There is going to come a point in this game, of course, where we are going to have to go more attacking. You know, we can't afford to play the 4-4-2 counter forever. And I think, actually, with 60 minutes left, I was about to say it might be time to go on the attack. It will be time to go on the attack if we concede here. They hit the woodwork. The ball is cleared away by Marriott. I'll tell you what, let's do it now. Let's go on the 4-4-2 attack. Who is struggling right now? Who has been performing badly? Bouchard on a 6.7. A disappointing performance by him. Alex has struggled as well on a 6.7. I feel like I might take out JJ, who's on a 6.8. Although he's not struggling that much. I mean, part of me wants to get rid of Bouchard, but part of me thinks to myself, he's just such a key player for us. It'd be criminal to get rid of him. Ah, uh, what do I want to do? Dilemmas, dilemmas. I think... I think we're going to bring on Tuzon for Alex. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring on an experienced player in Tuzon. A smart head, really, on some... Well, I was about to say young shoulders. He was young when he came to us, really, in his early 20s. But now, he's, he's just not... He's just, why, is, why, is, why is the dragon not working? Right, let's... It, he doesn't want to come on. Right, let's do it here. There we go. There we go. Right, who else do I want to change here? I mean... <laughs> Our defence is a little bit questionable. Jay Marriott is struggling. I'm going I'm to bring in Jason Hall. I'm going to bring in the American. He's either footed. He's more naturally a right back, but he can play left back. He had a bit of an impact when we played Bayern, getting an assist in that 2-2 draw. Not sure he'll have that kind of impact from left back, but, well, we need a goal here with not long left. And, well, it's fair to say Benfica getting the upper hand in this second half. Let's do a team talk right now. Let's try and do it quickly as well. Show some passion, boys. We have 13 minutes left to keep ourselves in the Champions League. And, well, time is ticking away here. And when time ticks away, it's time to throw men forward. And that is what we are going to do right now. We're going to go for a fairly standard change. It's the change that we actually made against um, Bayern Munich when we came back. I'm also going to take off Bouchard and bring in Holmes. Bouchard, usually a player for the big games for us, a player who can make a difference, but today he's been rather disappointing. So we're going to make a change there. That is our third and final sub. We're committing men for. We leave ourselves open, but we need a goal. We need a goal, and we need it fast. Let's see what we can do. Young collecting the ball from that chance. I don't think that was the replay. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Oakley knocks it down past his man. He's through. Dispossessed fantastically, and actually Benfica do a very good job to defend, and now they might hit on their own. Biro, Biro. Game over. Game over should be his name. He scores from 25 yards. It was a good effort. Keeper should perhaps do better. But unfortunately, that is going to be the end of our Champions League aspirations, you'd imagine, unless, well, somehow we are going to score two goals in the last five minutes. It was a good finish, questionable goalkeeping, I think it's fair to say. Let's do, well, what we can left in this game. You know, what, what more can we do? We've just got to close down more, you know, play a bit wider, 
get that ball in the box as much as we can. We need two goals in the space of five minutes. It doesn't happen very often in FM, and unfortunately for us, I don't think it's going to happen here. There is, what, two minutes left on the clock? We might have a chance here going forward. Two's on. Oakley, a goal here would you know give us a sliver of hope, perhaps. Oakley crosses it in. Smith hits the post. It's just not our day today, boys. It is just not our day. It's been a very close game, but ultimately Benfica perhaps deservedly get the three points on the day. That will see them go through to the knockout stages. I'm going to tell the boys they were unlucky. To get to the group stage, though, still a great achievement. We will, of course, go into that Europa League hat. And, uh, well, we'll have to see where we end up, which is a shame. But, you know, maybe we have a chance to advance in Europe elsewhere. Anyway, that is going to wrap up this episode from me. Just a little bit of news, actually. We are going into the January transfer window. I am still really struggling to be able to attract any players, like, worth coming. I mean, if we look at realistic transfers here, these are the kind of players I'm capable of signing. It's it's a struggle. It really is a struggle. And it's a little bit frustrating, if I'm honest. But um, you know what? We'll see what we can maybe do with the money that we have, because we have got a fair bit of money in the bank. Of course, in January, we can approach some players potentially on pre-contracts. That'll be another thing that we try to do. But there's, there's just not that many crazy players out there who are willing to come to us. There's plenty out there who aren't willing to come to us, as you can see here. But it is proving to be a challenge. Regardless, however, to get to the Champions League kind of group stage again, to get to the Europa League this year and the knockout stages of that, it's only going to help the club rep. As I mentioned, next time we will be back in the Europa League. Hopefully, I'll see you guys for that. Should be an epic midweek fixture. And also, it's competing, I guess, in a competition we've not played in in a while. So anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. As always, if you have, please do smash the like button. Next time, I will be back with the Europa League. We are slowly getting towards episode 100. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that. I need to work out what we're going to do for that, depending on where we are. But no, I need to stop rambling. I wanted to end this two minutes ago, and for some reason, I've just kept talking and talking. Right. End it, Jack. It is me. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Europa League, here we come. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.